Today I will show you how to make this cool effect with a free plugin. Yo, hello, it's Povika Sumeritic Visuals here, and let's begin. The first thing you'll want to do is make an adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Y. And the first effect we'll want to add is glow. Now, here we just want a normal glow, that's it. And make glow threshold 73.3%, glow radius 281, glow intensity 0.6. And now we need to add exposure. Keyframe the exposure at zero. And now you need to download this free plugin called Omino. I really recommend having it because the effects you can make are absolutely stunning and we also have a lot of tutorials where we use the plugin as well and the plugin will be linked in the description so the first effect from omino we will add is omino squares now make squares across 255 and that's it and now my favorite omino effect is omino diffusion so right here i like to make the error across at 0.96 i uh, know this will probably be different for you because i have seen that this varies a lot on different clips so by the way and what you want to do is actually keyframe it here as well and now let's go to the color count and make it six also you need to keyframe width one and uh, width four and um, so we have this basic effect no glitch yet but we can fix that so we can press u to open up these keyframes and first thing you'll want to do is go one frame forward and on the exposure you want to type 2.45 and let's go a couple of frames forward and here type zero and now hold alt and click on the stopwatch here and type loop out and now we will have this like sort of flicker and we can already save this as a preset by the way so you can go here press ctrl a on one of the effects that will select every effect and hold shift select the keyframes and go to animation save animation preset and call here whatever you want i don't know i like to call this effect opium glitch by the way and press save and you can add it wherever you want just, just go to effects and presets and type opium glitch by the way i've also been trying to find other great free plugins and how to use them for even spice your effects and texts while searching i discovered lots of fantastic courses which showed me how to make effects and crazy motion graphics text such as the ones that I have on the screen. All of these courses are actually available on Skillshare who are kind enough to sponsor today's video. You've probably heard of Skillshare by now. It's the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes led by industry professionals across editing, freelance, productivity, business and more. I've also been taking lots of motion graphic text courses on Skillshare and they have helped me to create text like this. This animation does need any paid plugins to be made whatsoever. Skillshare also really surprised me with how easy to understand their courses are. If you're not sure where to start, then Skillshare has designed learning paths to help you get from novice to pro in no time. I personally enjoyed and would recommend a learning path called Master Adobe After Effects Professional Techniques, which shows you how to use powerful After Effects tools. Another great learning path, which I absolutely loved, was called Start Your Freelance Video Editing Career. The best part is that you can access all of these classes for free during the one month free training. So if you're one of the first 500 people to click the link down in the video description, you will be able to join for a completely free one month trial of Skillshare. And during that time, you can watch these magnificent courses on how to create these amazing effects and text without any paid plugins. And of course, there are way more classes, which you will also be able to check out. And if you enjoy these courses and want to keep learning, then you can continue with a premium subscription of Skillshare. Check out the link down in the video description. And thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the tutorial. There are a couple of ways to make this glitch and it's by using all of these free keyframes. You need to really test this out but I like it at 1.01 and it will have this like little glitch and I like to go to width 1 and set it to 30. Uh, this is a really cool glitch in my opinion and then you can go like two frames forward and just set your across back to like 0 0.96 and it will be back to normal. Uh, you can keep the width 1 like this for I don't know. You can set it back like to this whenever. Like it will still look pretty cool like the way it goes in. And another effect you can add for example could be go below the adjustment layer make a new one by pressing ctrl alt y and here we can add invert and also transform i like to make the scale somewhat like 276 uh, make it whatever you want cut it up to like a couple of frames by the way this adjustment layer so here it stays black and here just like this here we can mess around like a lot so i can keyframe this back and this one also back and let's go like here and here we can set this to like 1.01 1 .01. this one to 32 and also this one to 32 this will be also another really cool effect and then we, may, we can make it go back to normal to 0 0.96 and these ones go back to normal as well and here you just really mess around with this uh these will just make these really cool glitches uh we can like extend this like for example like here and 
yeah, I really mess around with this glitch. One more thing I really recommend is to check out our editing visuals website where we have amazing editing packs. And one of the packs would be my VHS pack, which is also no plugins at all. So you can add effects here, no plugins. You can use the overlays wherever you want. On the pack, this is the pack. We even have tutorials or for example, VHS night vision. You just go to the project file and you just insert your clips and you'll have a night vision look. And also a lot of these overlays are just stunning. You could just add them below this effect and they will look absolutely amazing. Uh, we can also add like effects from, from the pack. So I don't know, I can press control alt Y. I can add like a VHS effect four. Really stunning look. I really recommend to check this pack out. We have over 120 overlays on this pack. All right, I will show you more examples now, but keep in mind that the only thing I'm actually doing in these examples is just messing around with the wood one, wood four values and the error across value. All right, I'm back. I made a couple of more examples here. So I'm going to press U and I'll show you what I did. So this is like the normal effect I showed you before. And then it goes in. So watch the keyframes, how they change here. So it goes into 1.1 here. It stays at 1.1 one here and also at the 32 so it goes to 32 but you see how it changes from one here 32 here and then it like dips down like here it's 25 and here it's 17 and this is also a bit different and here it goes back to normal but there was also the inverted layer below this one and let's go to another example here so here just it's gonna start here it started so these are the keyframes so you can look into this and yeah this just goes in it's going in there's an invert here as well the same settings i showed you before and yeah this is a longer glitch by the way so how it's happening is these are all different and they're going just different ways you see so this is 17 this is 11 and this is on 1.1 and it just stays at 1.01 for this entire time but the only things that are changing are these widths here and then after it stops and then it goes back i also made a little transition here so it's first like normal sort of and then it transitions with this so 1.105 uh the width one and width four are still one and yeah it just keeps going it goes to this it goes to 1.1 here so it took like five frames to get to that point yeah here's another example i had the inverted layer i zoomed in a bit less on this one because it was already pretty close and here I just have the error across at 1.1, here the normal, here at 1.1, and here the normal. So yeah, I just kind of mess around here a lot. And this is another cool example. So it's completely dark, and then I make the width 1. This is kind of what I wanted to show. Uh, sometimes you can have it at 1.1, and there will be no glitch at all. That's why you need to really mess around with the values here, because it might not always be the same for you. In this example, as you can see, there, it's 1.01, and nothing changes. But it starts to change right like here, because of the width 1, as you can see. So you really need to mess around with the widths. This is very random stuff I made here. So yeah, and as you can see, now it's like the same error across, but look at the width one and the width four. Really cool effect you can make. Don't make it last too long, just make it like a short glitch. As you can see, this one holds for like seven, six frames. And here, another inverted layer. As you can see, the scale is just a little bit and the invert as well. So here are crosses. The width one and width four are changing. They're always changing. I really recommend changing a lot with the width one and width four. And here, are another example. I had made so it's dark and then it goes to white and yeah this has to be one of my favorite glitches to do as you can see the only thing that's changing here is the width one and width four and the error across is also changing on this example actually from 0 0.96 to 1.06 and yeah just a really cool effect i really recommend to check out amino and also check out our editing visual swaps all right that's basically it for the tutorial if you have any questions then please let me know we also have a discord server where we can get back to you way faster that's about it have a fun and productive day. See ya.